firemen were busy with yet another mountain rescue today, but this one was a little different. A man at Camelback Mountain was rock jumping. Some hikers watching said his first jump was fine. It was the second jump where he lost control and ouch, he tumbled down the mountain there. He was yelling for help. The Phoenix Fire Department had to carry him down on a stretcher. And he's purposefully was looking at the camera and jumping to show off and he, you know, I think that I think she was planning on waving at the camera and that's why the whole thing happened. Wow. <laughs> All right, the man told other hikers it was his first time jumping in a couple of years, but that he was a very experienced jumper. And so uh, from show off to a little embarrassing mm -hmm. here, April. I'm sure. It's a good thing he's probably, <laughs> from, he's an out of towner. I think they're from Chicago, so uh, yeah. Caught on tape, a man leaps off Camelback Mountain and his ropes fail to save him. Tonight, the newsroom has the inside story on what went wrong. Whoa, welcome to the newsroom, everyone. I'm Beverly Kidd, in for Heather tonight. It's a nightmare any climber fears. Free falling after your ropes give way. It happened to a valley man today, and he lived through a 35-foot plunge off a rock. Rebecca Taylor has the exclusive video you gotta see to believe. Watched as a man leaps off Camelback Mountain. He, we could hear him screaming, help, help. This treacherous fall caught on tape by Amber Malik's husband. Just setting up his ropes, we asked him, what are you going to do? And he goes, I said, are you going to rock climb? He goes, yeah, we'll rock jump. The family in town from Chicago made friends with 21-year-old Ben Mendenhall moments before the accident. And we set up right down at the bottom of the rock and videotaped him coming down. And he came down first time fine. First time he did it, he did it the right way. And he went down with his feet right. on the rock going right. down. The second time he decided that he was going to wave for the camera and show off. Vicki Hampshire, seen here in the green hat, sparked up conversation with Mendenhall atop the mountain. I said, I'm going to watch you jump over the edge. And he said, watch my stuff. I'll be right back up. He called himself an expert climber, experienced with this giant rock called Sugar Cube. But his second jump nearly killed him. Smiling for the cameras, witnesses say Mendenhall repelled Aussie style, face down with his back to the rock. Sadly, with a running start, he plummeted 35 feet. When he started going down, he, 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 his, he hit his head, and then he slipped or something, and he let go of the ropes, or they came out of his hand. Mendenhall suffered two broken legs from his knees down and a fractured hip. Firefighters used this big wheel to bring him off the mountain. Here, you see him alert and moving his arm. Didn't break his back or anything. We just prayed to God that he's okay. Yep, it's a day with Mother Nature these sightseers won't soon forget. No, I couldn't believe it. He said goodbye and he jumped right off the edge and he just started screaming, help me, help me. Climbing experts say as many as 30 people a year injure themselves repelling off that rock. Beverly, last year a man fell to his death. Unbelievable. Rebecca, thank you very much. Dramatic pictures there. Got some